Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Fenner takes it from the six, and he has it on the corner. The 50, and they bring him down at the 43-yard line. You gotta love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Makes it out to about the 29. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. First and 10, ball in the 29. run there. Taylor gained seven yards on that play. Larry, Larry. Up. Mike, 36. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike, set! Throws it in a hurry. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. In the shotgun and five wideouts. On the pass, touchdown. So the Aggies coaching staff has just been raving about this kid, putting up some monster stats this season. He's a great fit for their system. I think that's the key right now. That's one of the reasons why he's putting up numbers that are among the nation's elite. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Wolfpack of North Carolina State and the Tigers of Clemson, the essence, the fabric of a rivalry in the Textile Bowl. And for Clemson, they've now dumped four in a row. Excellent kick. And down he... ...goes at the 16-yard line. Quarterback brings his troops out onto the... field for the first drive of the game. Mike 40, Mike 40. And a quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 31. the 42.
He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Diving for extra yardage. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. They hand it off. There he goes. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves them with a first and goal. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. From the 37-yard line, first down. Sims takes the delayed handoff, and he's taken down at about the 35. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's on the run. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. two-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. To him again, complete. He goes out of bounds at the 13. And they make the stop right around the four yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They're packed in tight on the line. They're going to pitch it. Touchdown, A&M. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. So a 10-play, 71-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Fenner from the five, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And that one's incomplete. Don't think the other receivers didn't see that hit. They'll be thinking about this guy when they're running their routes, too. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way to about the 32. Watch the run, watch the run. Watch the run. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's going to air it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 32. Hey. 
Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Tackle made at the 37. Throws a strike over the middle. He lost the ball. Defense says they've got it. And they do. They're going to review this fumble. And I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field. And they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. They'll make the sack. Harper is the kind of athlete that you can build your entire offense around. His athleticism, second to none. We'll see if they have an answer for him today. hit before it can go anywhere. Throws this one out to the right. Caught end zone for the touchdown. converts the extra point. A short three-play, 21-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Texas A&M kick this one off. Taken at the five. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Rose, and it's knocked away. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27. He fights forward to about the 30. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want no. They don't want none of this. Hey, watch the slant. Watch the slant. They'll spread the field with five wide. He to the 40. And that's his receiver who's wide open. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. Mike 36. Mike 36. He's at the 40. Brought down right around the 34. at the 24-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. out to about the 11-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Fires 
quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. From the 11-yard line, second down. Looks to a receiver, touchdown! Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Hurricanes were ranked 21st. Now they hope just to hold on to a spot in the poll. How about this final? Totally unexpected. A major upset is now finished. They line up to kick this one away. Gathered in at the six. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he's tackled after positive yardage. to the fullback and they push him out at the 27 Five coming up. Ball on the 22 yard line. I got you. I got you. Here we go. Green 95. He scrambled. And he's tackled at the 12 yard line. Catch and he's got room here. Touchdown, Texas A&M. <laughs> and he adds the extra point. Rivero has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. down at the 33 yard line i think any good football team has to have an ability to answer and that's exactly what we just saw one team scores a touchdown the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board this is getting exciting 
And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second and ten. Ball on their own 33. Here we go! And down he goes. Right around the 46-yard line. Slings it. He's at the 30 to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 15. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Catches it, and that's all. Babcock gains seven yards with a catch there. So the Aggies wide receiver, we hope can make a comeback and get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. He gets out to about the six yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. So it's third down and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He's level at the one. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Defense stacked in tight here. Run, run, run. Touchdown, New Mexico State. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 68-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Just amazing, Herbie. We've seen four straight possessions now in which the offenses have scored. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He fights forward to about the 23. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's taken down at the 33. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Fires in a hurry. Interception. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Aggies. He hits the PAT. McDonald ready to kick. He's to the 20. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand 
and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. You know, after that last turnover by this offense, the momentum is really turned in this game. And right now, you got to believe this defense is going to come out and play with a lot of intensity and a lot of aggression. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on their own 18. Fires it out. Tackled at about the 31. He's taken down at the 34 yard line. out of bounds at the 37 yard line. They go back to him on a quick throw and he hits him hard at the 47. the stop at the 43-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Second and 14. Ball on the 47-yard line. Ready! Check, check! Thunder! That close to being intercepted. This is the ninth play of this drive. You remember me? Let's go, baby. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. He's going to go for the home run. And he's tackled right away. Touchdown, Aggies! Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. So a 10-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility. Tie ball game here. We're all nodded at 28. Jackson from the four. Tackle at the 20. Well, some offensive fireworks from both teams right now, Kirk. Both defenses on their heels, and they're just trying to catch their breath out there. These offenses have been brilliant. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Yeah. 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. Fourth down, upcoming as they go three and out. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. And here's the... Wait a minute, the upback's got it. Line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make... ...some plays and get a little separation. In the shotgun and five wideouts. They've got to play with some... and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Scrambling around. Has time. Here comes the pressure. Broke away from one. Still dragging guys. We've got a safety. How about that for the defense coming through? That could turn out to be one of those plays that the entire game hinges on. That was an amazing job by the defense. Looking for the corner, and he's tackled at the 43. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. This offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. And not only does that affect them in a negative way, but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. From their own 44-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. down at the 28. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. So an empty backfield watch with five wide field. receivers. Yeah. On the throw, incomplete pass. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. New Mexico State is up two. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Balance throw got him anyway. He's tackled at the 24.
They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks up. Well, no luck for the kick. as he misses his opportunity to tack three points on the board. So we'll change possession with a score, 30-28, New Mexico State. They'll come back out looking to erase the rotten taste giving up that safety must have left. Defenses get a big boost when they can score a safety. So expect to see these guys flying to the ball in this possession too. Heading for the corner. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. his way to the 49-yard line. Gets out to around the 38. Defensive tackle fell on the loose ball. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on. The kicker missed a field goal on the last drive, so the offense is out here trying to turn it around on this one. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. Throws it in a hurry. New Mexico State with a two-point advantage. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Man left, man left. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. It's our time. It's our time, guys. It's our time. Watch 36. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Aaron and out long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Wow, what a first quarter we had. That was an offensive explosion. 30-28. Aggies. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's out to the 30, and down he goes. Right around the 34. New Mexico State's going to use their first time out of the half here. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Got a man tackled for a loss. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage.
from their own 30-yard line. Third down. Five wide. Throws a bullet. Pulls it in, and he could score. Down the sideline. They'll bring him down at the nine. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he makes it out to about the eight yard line. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm. and almost. to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. And they got him, and they get to him again. In case he needed any reminders, he's not in high school anymore. The defense has made it clear that they're coming after him today. So they're going to go for it here. throw to the tight end and he's taken down around the six yard line momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays new mexico state holds just a two-point lead Room around the corner. Gets out to around the 18. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle around the 30-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Nice grab on the play. He's hit and taken down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he's hit immediately. From the 25-yard line. It's first down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. 
Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. New Mexico State oh, is up two. Tackled after a decent pickup. down and they need to get it to the 15. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. They come out on an empty backfield. Passes to the wide out and he can't pull it in. He gets it up and it is good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Seminoles came into the game ranked sixth. After that performance, they're going to fall like Wiley Coyote off a cliff. This was a tight one to the very end. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Davis fields it at the two. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. So the Aggies quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. That's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. at midfield he's at the 40 and they finally tackle him at the 30 yard line zips it to the back and they make the stop at the 22 yard line goes out of bounds around the 20 yard line good pass to his receiver to get the first down well they got to him in a hurry but it was just a little bit too late that's a nice first down pass he's on the run tackle made around the 12 yard line So it's second down and about two yards to go. Roger, Roger. Hey, check back 34. Mike, 34. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. <laughs> Texas AM up a point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Rivero has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He chucks it downfield. Brought down around the 31-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. He 
He's tackled at the 22. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Makes it out to about the 13. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. And he's tackled around the four-yard line. Throw in the end zone, touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So a five play, 72 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. For New Mexico State, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. Good pass rush by these guys today. They also gotten them to turn it over twice. This offense hasn't had any trouble moving the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Let's go, Jack. Let's go. We got this. We got this. Mike 34. Mike 34. Yeah. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Yeah. Here's a give up the middle. Tackled right away. He flings it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Up the middle for a nice game. Huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. It's the ninth play of the drive. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Hey, well, Mike 40, Mike 40. Down. Touchdown, A&M. Oh, Tech 
Texas A&M is up one. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 77-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. They line up to kick this one away. Taylor has it at the five. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Across the middle, tight end's got it. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Here we go. Seven. They come out in a goal line set. Here's a handoff up the middle and no room to run. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick toss. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Couldn't hold it. Jefferson is waiting for the snap. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Texas A&M's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Texas A&M with a two-point advantage. forward. A gain of eight on the carry. Well, it's not fourth down, but for some reason, the putter's on the field. For Babcock, he's had a great game catching the ball. Well, for all the young wide receivers out there, this is a guy you want to pay attention to. He runs very precise routes, and he does a really good job of keeping the defender away from having a chance to make a play on the ball. How do you defend against a guy that burns you for big yards every time he catches it? And he's tackled after positive yardage. Jackson picks up about four yards on the play. Second and six. 
Ball on the 34-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Now he's scrambling. Throws out and through his hands. Man left, man left. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45. They get nice yardage on that run. Not over here. Not over here. Not over here. Tight left, tight left. Go down, go down. Tackle at about the 27 yard line. First and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six and points left, here. Left. Go down, go down. Converts the extra point. New Mexico State yet set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And it's incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 18. To the 30 goes over the middle the tailback's got it he's taken down at the 34. and they make the stop at the 46 yard line the 42. 
drive wide. Nice run, and he's brought down. Quick out to his receiver. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Texas A&M. He makes the PAT, a six-play, 81-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 24-yard line, second down. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down around the 34-yard line. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. 10, boy, That's a great tackle at the 31. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 31. Tackled after a decent pickup. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws and it's incomplete. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Let's get the ball. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. They'll line up with five wide receivers. On the reception, look out. Nobody there. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 77-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. New Mexico State lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. Looking for the corner. He steps out at about the 13. The last... Timeout. They were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. 
You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game? Well, you got a safety. You don't think the defense was coming extra hard on that play? They knew they could force a mistake and they made a big play. Gets to about the 44-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. New Mexico State up seven points. He goes downtown. And he's tackled right away. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Four down, four down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Run, 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 run. Nice play to set up first and goal. run up the middle. New Mexico State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the one yard line. Second down. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Here's the fullback and he's taken down behind the line. New Mexico State's called their final timeout. And he adds the extra point. A nice five-play, 56-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. That can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field. And a lot of the yards came on the ground. Tackle made at the 48. Come back out looking to erase the rotten taste giving up that safety must have left. The defense is going to be coming out here on the field thinking they have their opponent's number. So somebody from this offense will have to show them something to get them to respect what they can do. He wants it all. Doesn't get there. We've still got a half of football remaining. So the Aggies lead it by two touchdowns. All right, Reese.
David. Welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Davis fields it at the two. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. The quarterback was just lucky to get that pass off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. Hey, they picked up an ice cane of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Nice run there. at the 44. From their own 40-yard line. Third down. He scrambled. And they get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Powell to punt. Jackson takes it at the 33, and he's tackled at the 38-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 48. First and 10. Ball on the 48. Makes it out to about the 39. to the wide out and he can't pull it in. It's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Got a receiver and he dropped it. This is a pretty controversial call. I really would have expected them to punt this ball. And they sack him up. Fourth down. Another loss. Another loss. Another day. 
Let's see if... This drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 50 yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. And that was almost picked off. Sometimes you get a bit greedy when you're not playing from behind. what happened here. In my mind, they'd have been better off punting and forcing them to drive the length of the field. They can really pay for it now unless their defense comes out here and makes a big defensive stop. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive. But I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. He chucks it downfield. In and out of his hands. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Tackle made around the 43 yard line. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Taken down in the backfield. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes. There's got to be. Some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives that they want to get back in the game. And he didn't get all of it. It falls short. Defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out of the field? Of course, they went for it on fourth down. Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all of these games and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal or a punt. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. There he goes. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Hey, Brad, tie left, tie left. Four down, four down. Watch 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. Taken down at the 22-yard line. Man left, man left. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. Brought down at the 7th. And for Babcock, he now has their all-time single-game receiving yardage record. You see now why they're so anxious to get the ball in this guy's hands. Once he's made the catch, good things tend to happen. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Passes, and it's almost picked off. Got the fullback. He's tackled around the one-yard line. From the one-yard line, it's third down. A short yardage defense here. He's got it. Touchdown. So there's the quick pass to the receiver for six. And the receiver does a nice job here fighting off the defender to get to the ball. That was a nice pitch and catch. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 56 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. New Mexico State's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires it out. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Now he's scrambling. There he goes. They'll bring him down at about the 45.
spread out. And he's tackled at the 31. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no huddle attack. From the 31 yard line, first down. In the shotgun and five wide out. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. They're not even going to try to cover these receivers. Inside the 10. They're not done yet. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 32. And for Babcock, he's the newest school record holder for most receiving yards in one game. The fact that he's been able to put up these stats on the road makes it doubly impressive. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. at the 42-yard line. Pretty good gain right there. You know, the thing that impresses me about this offense is their ability to spread the ball around. They're not afraid to go to their tight ends, their tailbacks, and in this case, their fullback. Nicely designed play. Here we go! Pass to the tight end, but he bottles the ball away. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. From their own 42-yard line, second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. He's at the 40, gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. To the 10. Touchdown, New Mexico State. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 68-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. McDonald gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Makes his way to about the 45. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. in 
the open field. Oh, so close. to breaking it. the middle he makes it to the 15 yard line the running back gets a yard maybe less that's the senior safety that made that tackle great job of providing run support from the secondary it's third down and seven yards to go ball on the 15 made around the 12 yard line the man defense proves to be too tough against the screen that was an excellent job by the defenders they fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop he gets it up and it splits the uprights they line up to kick this one away Fielded at the nine. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So the Aggies had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. And I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's taken down at the seven yard line. He's scrambling. Over the middle, got it, touchdown. He makes the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. New Mexico State kicked this one off. 
He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 29. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. It out to his receiver and he can't hang on. It's second and ten. Ball on the 49 yard line. He fires this one. They come out in an empty backfield. Brought down at the 42. And he muffed it. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. They line up at the seven. It's second down. New Mexico State comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Going long. Picked off. It's the quarterback. And he's level at the 21. At this point, we're talking moral victories for this defense. It's been a long day, but at least they didn't quit and they came up with an interception here. From the 21-yard line, first down. Great concentration to haul it in. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Touchdown, 
Texas A&M. He's having quite a game, three rushing touchdowns now. If he had thrown three touchdowns, it'd be a nice day. Running for three is also nice, but it's also a pretty big shot. And he converts the extra point. Texas A&M to kick. Gibson takes it at the four. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. See if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. It's second and nine. Ball in the 23. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Nice play, baby. Nice play. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Right. Quick toss. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. intercepted hey this guy's got to forget about the drop remember he was in good position to make a play from their own 43 yard line second down got him again and they make the stop at about the 31. at the 29-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. And down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. down and they need to get it to the 21. Quick throw and he's got his receiver again. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Caught end zone for the touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. He makes it to the 45-yard line. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. 
If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Ready! Ah! And he hauls it in. Tackle around the 37-yard line. That's three down and one to go. New Mexico State's running away with it. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Just throws this one away. From the 37-yard line, second down. He zips it out to the left. Interception. You don't want to criticize a quarterback for trying to make something happen, but I'm not really sure who he thought he was throwing the ball to there. Man left, man left. New Mexico State in control. Fires out to his wideout. And he tackles him hard at the 46. From their own 46-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Watch the back, watch the back. Watch 36. 36 the quarterback right. in the gun with five receivers. Oh, it almost picked off. down and they need to get it inside the 44. Going deep, lays it out there, and he makes the catch. Touchdown, huge play. Tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 78-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Collins fields it at the two. He's to the 20. Broke away from one. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. And he shoved out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Shift, shift. Blue, 
fires to the wideout. First down. Excellent open field tackle. Halfback's got it. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He's out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Come up short. Good tackle. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. Taylor takes it at the 23, brought down at the 34. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 34-yard line, second down, New Mexico State comes to the line in complete control in this game. He lets it fly. He's taken down at the 25. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Quick throw. That's incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. made at about the 23 yard line two yard carry by the fullback i'm telling you every yard you gain is earned and those were about as tough as they come quickly and it's almost intercepted the deflection prevented them from getting any yards and now it's fourth down they'll line it up for the field goal he gets it up and it's off the upright no good I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Taken down at the 44-yard line. Gets it out in a hurry. 
They can't connect incomplete. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From the 38-yard line, second down. He's on the run, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. Five-yard line. And that one's incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 14-yard line. A man down, and he's in some pain right now. Tenth play of the drive. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Still playing hard out there. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. He makes the PAT. A nine play, 59 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Taylor from the five. <laughs> Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. And for Newby, that gives him the school record for receiving yards in a game. You see now why they're so anxious to get the ball in this.
guy's hands. Once he's made the catch, good things tend to happen. Roger, Roger! Take four, take four! Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. New Mexico State up big. There's a missed tackle. Nice run up the middle. Taylor comes away with five yards on the carry. Around the 47-yard line. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. hit before it could go anywhere. From the 30-yard line. First down. Caught, open field, and down he goes around the 13-yard line. And for Newby, this catch brings him even closer to the record books. Man left, man left. New Mexico State with a commanding lead. Makes it to the 12-yard line. the ninth play of this drive. Slings it out and it gets tipped. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. They'll line up for the field goal and this is nothing more than a chip shot. It's up and they tack on three points. McDonald gets set to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. And he's tackled at the 33. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. And he snags that one. Tackle around the 25-yard line. Yeah. You don't want 
one, none. Jet check. One eighty. Regular, regular, one. regular. Eighty. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Hey, what's that? Hey, what's the ball? Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Jet check. 180. Regular, regular, Five. regular. 80. Ah. Ah. Throws it deep. And he's got it. That tackle could have saved a very big play. catch and he's got room here. Touchdown Texas A&M. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. He's been letting it fly today and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. I'm kind of surprised these guys are still losing after the type of game that this quarterback's had. And he tacks on the extra point. Rivero has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 24-yard line. Well, Kirk, I guess you can say this. If you like offense, it's been entertaining. Well, don't get me wrong. I, I love offensive firepower, but I just wish it was a closer game, more competitive here in the fourth quarter. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 24. Mike, 36. Mike. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. He's in trouble. It's almost picked off. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Jefferson is the putter. Oh, man, did he take a hit. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Complete. He's got room. Out of bounds at the 43-yard line. made around the 34-yard line. He's out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Taken down. Right away, 
Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down. They're inside the five. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. On the pass, touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. Got the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, it's been fun to watch him because he's doing everything you want to see in a quarterback. He's making the right read. He's getting the ball out of his hands on time. And it's giving his receivers a chance to make the play and get upfield. You know, the coaches told us all week this week that they thought they could expose the secondary. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. It's one big play after another. So give the quarterback a lot of credit. But let's not forget about the guy calling the plays. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Ready. Throws. Intercept. No, he dropped it. Taken down at the 25. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defenses change things up as they try to stop these guys. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate. Touchdown, a and &M. And he converts the extra point. They get ready to kick this one off, and the return team's looking for the onside. And he's going to call for a fair catch. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under three to go in regulation. Up the middle for a nice game. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the eight. Nice run, and he's brought down. Taylor picks up five with the carry. So the Aggies will use their first time out of the half. Taken down at about the 21. Boy, how would you like to be a defensive back and see this guy rumbling at you with a full head of steam? Nicely done by the big man. From their own 21-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a goal line set. 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. Texas A&M's called their final timeout. He makes his way out to about the 35. That's not all about. All day, every day. From their own 35-yard line. First down. down after a nice run up the middle. Taylor gets six yards on the play. They're about four yards away here on second down. They're packed in tight on the line. He makes it to the 42-yard line. This play is number eight on the drive. Under a minute left. He's tackled at about the 45. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. They line up in the jumbo set. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Harper's big performance today, it's going to be tough for him to celebrate, though, because they end up with a loss. Well, it's a tough day for his team. You know, he had a great in individual performance, but, you know, you think about the team first, obviously, if you're this star player, and he cannot be happy with, uh, even though he had a great game, this team ends up losing the football game. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.